Hello and welcome back to our second episode of our group Iron Man, The Cutlery Drawer. Where today, we'll be hunting down some chinchampas and doing a bunch of quests to try and get some glories for the team. Hope you enjoy, and let's get down to it. Now before we get into the episode, let's start by getting these limpworts into some potions to get us all the way up to 26 herb lore and let us make our stamina potions. Then we're gonna go hop over to the Chinom village and turn all these stamina potions into some herb lore levels. We're gonna go all the way up to 32 herb lore. After making all those potions, my brother decided he was gonna teach me how to play fishing trawler so I could get my bronze sword for the RD cape. And, and now, since I've been able to pick up a rusty sewer from a few games of this, I can fix it up for the RD diary, so I can go all the way and get my RD cloak, completing the easy RD diary. If I can actually get in this door. Let's go. use this lamp on herb lore. Yeah, let's go. 33 herb lore. Now I decided to go cheese some uh, ghosty guys and some Shiloh village. Just real quick. To get us through to the completion of Shiloh village. Another step in the plan that I've got in my head that's totally very efficient and very planned out. And next, off to finish the golem quest to help push up our crafting levels. And just about now, we'll go and that's the quest completed. Now to the mother of mine, where I'm going to cut these gems to get me up to 38 crafting, and then going to do some mining. That's 35 mining, 37 mining. And 39 mining. And that's 40 mining. We're going to leave it out for now. Because that's enough to mine some gem rocks. And we'll off to real quick. Complete the element workshop missions. So I can go and get some more crafting levels. And some smithing levels at the same time. Push me towards those burning amulets that I'm working on for me and the team so we can go do some prayer at the Chaos Altar. And next, up to Giant's Foundry to get some more smithing levels and to complete the quest. Let's go. And a quick pit stop along to Shiloh Village to pick up some gems and cut them into for a crafting level. Then over to Varak to try and fight this 
demon. I wonder how hard of a fight this is going to be. I'll just try and hit him here. Kill this fuck warlock man first. And then one shot, the very, very strong demon. Say some magic words. And then wabam, the very strong demon is defeated. As well as the quest of Demon Slayer. Now time to go and beat up another demon in the shadow of the storm. Just whittling him down, flinching him along here. Running a bit low on food, hoping I'm not gonna die. Let's go. Oh no. Well, I just have to go claim my stuff. Quite embarrassing. But never fear. I'll just equip the dark light and then unequip the dark light. And that should, uh, should finish the quest. So that's Shadow and Storm completed and 27 range accomplished. One level off for the Dorishin crossbow. Then a quick smithing level from making some stuff for our aid of the hierarchy for the group mates. And then straight over to Edgeville into some crafting, making some dig site necklaces, some rings of recoil, some emerald rings. Some other useful teleports for the team. It's getting me all the way up to 45 crafting so I can make topaz amulets for the team. Here we go. I'm gonna make the first few topaz amulets. Which will then string and then enchant them into burning amulets. So we can go get our prayer up at the burning am altar with all these giant bones that we got from killing the hill giants when I was editing the last video. And here we are in the wilderness, getting all the way up to 45 prayer from the big bones we've got. Just finishing them off at the wilderness altar. Maybe we'll get 46, I don't know. And now we've got prayer up, let's go finish Lost City. Finished Lost City now. Time to go see what items we're gonna need for Fairytale Part 1. Uh, 
let's see what we get from what we'll need to collect. We're gonna need a nature's talisman, a nair, and a tamo seed. Two really easy. One that I'm gonna have to go and work out and go into the abyss, I think, to go and get that nature talisman. Now it's time to finish Enter the Abyss, so I can go and get that Nature's Talisman for Fairy Tale Part 1. And now, that's Fairy Tale Part 1 complete, and we now have the Magic Secretors, so we can go and get some more herbs. And I have access to Fairy Rings now. Now, it's finally time for a Hunter. And that is 15 Hunter. And now that we've gotten 15 Hunter from these Long Tails, it's time to go over to Piscularius and get some favor as well as getting some hunter levels at the same time. And that's 16 hunter. 17 hunter. nineteen hunter, because I'm a dumbass and count count. And that altogether puts us up to 100% Piscularis favor. And now it's time to move on to catch some butterflies. To for 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 hunter. Well, 26 hunter. And that's 27 hunter. And we're still catching butterflies for 28 hunter. Time to catch one more butterfly for 29 hunter. And now we can go to Swamp Lake's favorite place and go back to the swamp and catch some swamp lizards. And now that's 30 hunter. And that's 31 hunter. And that's 32 hunter. That one lizard takes us to 33 hunter. That is 35 hunter. And that there is 36 hunter. And that takes us to 37 hunter. That takes us 38 hunter. Getting closer. And 39 hunter. That brings us to 40 hunter. 42 hunter. And now that'll be 43 hunter coming up just off the snap. And now we can move on and do some falconry in another place that isn't the swamps. Let's go. And now that I've been throwing this bird around for a little bit, that's 46 and 47 hunter. And now we can move on to desert lizards. My favorite. And that's 49 hunter. And that's 50 hunter. 51 hunter. And that's 52 hunter. And that's 53 hunter, meaning I can go to Hunter's Peak and get the hell out of this desert. Now we're back at the Varax Zoo to complete Hunter's Peak. Now it's time to hunt some Chinchompas. And now that's 54 hunter. Fifty five hunter. It's fifty six hunter. And that's fifty seven hunter. And that's fifty eight hunter. And that's fifty nine hunter, one level for four boxes. 
Now that's us up all the way to 60 hunter. Now we can get four boxes and a huge XP boost. And that's 61 hunter. 62 hunter. And that's 63 hunter, meaning we can move over to Carnivorous Chinchampas. And this is 64 hunter, gonna be here for a while. 65 hunter. 66 hunter. And that's 67 hunter. And that's 68 hunter. And that takes us to the funny number of hunter. And that's us up to 70 hunter. And 71 hunter. 72 hunter. Getting close. And that's 73 hunter. Just 10 levels to go. And that's 74 hunter. And that's 75 hunter. And that's level 76 hunter. Level 77 hunter. Level 78 hunter coming up. And that's level 79 hunter. And that's 800, giving us an extra box trap and only three levels off of being able to get dragon implants. And this is 81 hunter. 82 hunter, where we somehow managed to break a bot. Very funny. And getting us really, really close to the finish line. Being just one, but one more hundred level away. And now that's 83 hunter. That means we can go try our luck and catch some dragon implings and see if we can get lucky with some glories or if to not. Just be sad. I don't know what else to say. Well, you may be thinking how many chimchampas we caught on our way to 83 Hunter. Well, we caught 1,155 grey chimchampas and 8,697 carnivorous chimchampas. So sooner be throwing in some red spiders in this cave to get some grimy keys. Now off to Pristinus to go and look for some dragon implings, magpie implings and ninja implings to hopefully get something good and not get scammed. Now after a few hours of catching some implings in Pristinus, I've got uh, a few opened, a few dragon implings, nothing special so far. Let's see what we get from this one. Get some Mystic Gloves. Which good. A Dragon Dagger. Some Seeds. Put these jars away. Get some Bars. Some Onyx Ball Tips, which will be good for Alka. Some more Mystic Gloves, which are also good for Alka. And... Some Renar Seeds. Or Snapdragon Seeds, sorry. Very good. See if we can get any luckier with these stuff. No Dragon Implant this time. I only caught 5 total after at least 10 hours in Pristinus. And got a total of some Dragon Darts. Dragon Dart Tips. Some Dragon Arrow Tips. Some Arrow Box. Summer pies and some snapdragon seeds. A bunch of useful things from the other rooms. 
now bon voyage is complete i'm getting myself set up to come and edit this video and have something to do to get ready for throwing the chin champas later on And that's one is complete to help bring me up to the Slayer requirement for animal magnetism. And now that's animal magnetism out of the way. So now when I'm editing this video, I can go and train some ranged. Well, if you made it this far, I want to thank you for watching. Hope, hope you come back later, or we'll be doing more progress next video.